Welcome or welcome back to the K Slick Cool Gang Gaxon. Today we're gonna be reacting on eating your last meal, death row. So without further delay, jump into this video. This is a death row inmate. And when you're on death row, you're given one last meal request. And today we're gonna be eating some of the strangest last meal requests, starting with worms. Yeah! Does that bother you at all? <laughs> I've seen worse. He's here because he's gonna tell us exactly what being on death row is like. H.H. H. Holmes was a con artist who claimed to be possessed by Satan. He turned his house into a torture chamber and built a hotel to lure in tourists. He was later on caught and confessed to murdering 27 people. And before his execution, he was trapped in one of his own torture chambers, the Copper Bull. Now Tanner, are you ready to eat the worms? I'm not eating that. If you don't eat the food, you have to go through an extreme punishment. Well, how bad is the punishment? You're gonna have to stay tuned and find out. Now let's move on to the- How many of y'all actually worms? You know, if you was on death row and that was your last meal, I don't think I could do it. You just wanted to starve me and kill me. The next meal. This next death row inmate is the reason parents check their kids' Halloween candy. Ronald Clark O'Brien handed out cyanide laced pixie sticks to children on Halloween, including his eight year old son, to cash out on his life insurance policy. Before he was executed by lethal injection, his last meal request was bacon wrapped filet mignon, baked potato with sour cream and chives, corn on the cob, deveined shrimp, asparagus with hollandaise sauce, French bread with butter, goat cheese, canned loaf, vanilla ice cream, and iced tea. Fun fact. Your last meal is actually scheduled two days before you're executed because you're not allowed to eat 48 hours prior to your execution so you don't poop yourself. Oh my god, I gotta stop doing videos like this if I'm trying to be in shape. Alex, stop it. You are in shape. I am? Yeah. Round is a shape. Wow. Cat, are you calling my son Patty? Got him. Our next death row inmate is the oldest to ever be put on death row. Viva! Ads on YouTube must be so annoying. But with three clicks, you can install an ad blocker and you'll never see ads again. Step one, go to adblocker360.com. Step two, click on ad extension. You would Step think three, confirm. All for done. your last no meal, you would really want something real good. I wouldn't even know what my last meal would probably be. Maybe lasagna. I don't really eat fast food. Watch this. Uh, I can show I think you how it to get would the be deals online when you shop for major retailers Some like spaghetti Amazon or something like you that. You can drop prices automatically. I can show you. Let me know in the comments what would your last meal be real money if you was on death row. 160 million in the last year. Across thousands of different retailers, you'll immediately see this. See what I mean? Eva Leroy Nash shot and killed a police officer and spent 70 years in prison. When he was executed at the age of 94, he was already deaf, blind, and in a wheelchair. For his last meal, he ate popcorn with ketchup, hamburger with cinnamon rolls as the buns, and hot dog with jelly. That was gonna eat good food. I you know just what kind of food prison? What's the prison like? You can't even eat at the same table with different races or even hang out with them. Oh my god. What happens if you do? What gets out, you are gonna get jumped in the shower. Wait, 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 I have a question. Have you ever dropped a soap on purpose? <laughs> this next death row inmate had one of the happiest last meals. David Wood was convicted of murdering six girls and buried their bodies in the desert. Before his execution, his last request was to have pizza and birthday cake with his family. And lucky for us, we don't have friends. We have family. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> The cake. He's fine. Alex. Alex. Alex, you okay? All the cake. No, you do. Messed up. The next death row inmate had one of the strangest last meal requests. Shang Chi went from being a prostitute to a notorious pirate who controlled over 2,000 ships and 70,000 pirates. For her last meal, she had a century-old duck egg. Oh my God, that looks so much nastier up close. Um. What happens if we don't want to eat this? Then you'll have to go through a punishment! All right, we'll eat this, but you guys have to subscribe since we're only doing this for you guys. Oh my God. Count three, okay, Alan? One, two, three. You gotta swallow that. Oh my God, it actually tastes like it's rotten. Oh my God, I have to eat the whole thing, Sean? Oh yeah. I gotta swallow the whole like you do. <laughs> like Tanner's balls. 
Shang Chi was actually executed from tickle torture, which doesn't sound bad, but it's actually one of the most cruel punishments. When you're tickled for hours, it can actually lead to a brain aneurysm, a heart attack, or loss of breath. Tanner, because you didn't eat the worms earlier, your punishment is tickle torture. Now, before your punishment, what is your last request? Just make sure Sean doesn't tickle my balls. Hell yeah! <laughs> All right, bring in the peanut butter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I wonder if that's true. If you tickle somebody that long, can they have an aneurysm? Can they have a heart attack? I don't know. I would like to know that though. We'll find out though. Yeah. Yeah. The next death row inmate is the reason you have to wear a diaper before being executed. John Spinkelink was a twice convicted felon and a prison escapee. During his escape, he killed a hitchhiker and robbed many others. Before he was executed by the electric chair, his last meal request was grilled cheese, hominy, radishes, peach pie, cottage cheese, and ice cream. All right, I'm hungry. Let's dig in. Mm. I feel like every single inmate requested ice cream. An interesting fact about the electric chair is they make you put on a diaper because you lose muscle control and can poop yourself when you die. <laughs> Honestly, it's not that bad. Well, can you untie me, please? God! Our next inmate was a pirate named Oh, that's peanut but I was gonna say his feet look nasty. And sellers until his demands were met. He would also kill anyone who entered his water. He was later betrayed by his own crewmates, and before he was decapitated, his last meal was octopus. Okay. Uh, oh. All right, Sean, you gonna eat this octopus? No, but I'll eat that octopus. <laughs> <laughs> Because you didn't want to eat this octopus, you're gonna have to go through an extreme punishment later on in this video. So stay tuned. What, what punishment? Our next inmate was one of the smartest to ever be put on death row. Bell Gunness, known as Hell's Bell, married up to 15 men and killed them for their life insurance money. Woo! Girl power! Get that back, sis! Yeah, that's not a good thing because she was later on caught and burned alive at the stake. For her last meal, she requested money. And obviously, we're not going to eat this, so we're going to give it to you if you subscribe right now. On top of that, we're going to be coming to your school for our next video. So if you guys want us to go to class with you, hang out with you, and be in a YouTube video, then all you have to do is subscribe. The next death row. Just imagine they giving you an option. And I want to ask my subscribers, the viewers. What would you do? Would you rather one, lethal injection, two, torture chamber, three, be burned alive, or four, electric chamber? Let me know in the comments which one would you rather do. Me, I'd rather do the lethal injection. I'm not scared of needles, and I just go drift off to sleep and never wake up. Which one would you rather do? Inmate had the craziest execution story. Alan Lee Davis murdered Nancy Dweller and her two daughters. He was sentenced to death by an electric chair, and on the day of his execution, it was botched, and he was still half alive. He became the last person to be put to death by an electric chair, and for his last meal, he had lobster tail with steak, half a pound of fried shrimp, french fries with cheese bread, and a root beer. All right, let's dig in. Have you ever been in a fight in prison? <sighs> Every day. Survival log. I was once jumped by two guys with knives. The only reason I survived is someone told me before. And the guards do nothing? <laughs> they just watch. You think you have what it takes to survive in prison? No. You think you hard? No. But I am. <laughs> Our next death row inmate had one of the nastiest last meals. Napoleon Bonaparte was a French military leader during the French Revolution who led several successful campaigns during the Revolutionary War. He was eventually charged with treason and exiled to an island where he was later executed by the Iron Maiden. Before he was executed, his last meal was fried crickets. Oh! I'm not eating that. I'm not eating that either. Then who's gonna eat it? I will! <laughs>
Yeah, I don't know about the fry crickets either, but everybody got their choice of like. I heard it supposed to be good for you. Did you know you. that you can make a full time income from YouTube without ever trying to grow your own channel? It's true. I don't know. Back in 2020, I would I let this ad play, but it's too long. Crappy little video. Let's jump back into the video and see what else they got for us. <laughs> Cat, if you don't want to go through a punishment, you actually have to eat a cricket. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, no! It actually kind of tastes like burnt chicken. You know, in some countries, fried cricket is a delicacy. We just know everything about food. Wow! Our next death row inmate had one of the funniest last meal requests. Dr. Death killed over 250 of his patients by injecting them with a lethal dose of painkiller. For his last meal, he ate... Pizza on pineapple. You mean pineapple on pizza? No, no, he actually ate this. So I gotta eat this too? Yeah, try it, it's pretty good. It's not bad. You know, right before he was supposed to be executed, he actually hung himself. Now, what would your last request be? A lot of ice cream and video games. Our next death row inmate had one of the tastiest last meals. Gary Gilmore robbed and murdered two men at a gas station. And while getting rid of the murder weapon, he shot his hand by accident. He was caught because he left a trail of blood from the crime scene to his house, making him the dumbest inmate. For his last meal, Very he dumb. requested a 21-piece KFC chicken bucket, two large Domino's pizzas, ice cream with bananas, and a six-pack of Pepsi. All right, let's dig in. Oh my God. Man, this really is the tastiest last meal. And you know, fun fact, before he was executed by the firing squad, his last words were, see you in hell. Now, how's ice cream, Kat? Mmm, it's really good. Wasn't this ice cream supposed to come with bananas? Where's the banana? It's right here. Oh, God! <laughs> This next death row inmate was eating at Five Guys before it became a restaurant. Ed Gein was a cannibal who inspired Texas Chainsaw Massacre. He was also known as the Butcher of Plainfield and would make shirts, masks, dresses, belts, and furniture out of human skin. Before he was executed by the electric chair, his last meal request was a human finger. Oh, so he was a cannibal. Well, I got a joke for you. What do cannibals use to freshen their breath? Men toes. <laughs> So your last request will be a finger. I want to know, would they really get that finger for you? It is your last request and it's supposed to honor it, right? Where would they get the finger from? Hmm. I'd like to know that answer. That was a good one. This next death row inmate requested a meal that was still alive. Yu Young Chu was a Korean self-confessed cannibal who killed and over 20 prostitutes. When Yu Young Chu was caught, he was tortured for months before they got a confession out of him. In most Asian countries, death row inmates don't know when their execution date is, so they wake up every day thinking it might be their last. Before his execution, he requested his last meal to be a female dog. And that's because he referred to the women he killed as bitch. Our next inmate wasn't too happy about what she had to eat for her last meal. Bonnie Parker from Bonnie and Clyde was one of the most famous females. She was known for her bank robberies. And Bonnie and Clyde, everybody know about them. For her last meal, she ate bullets because she was ambushed and shot to death. The moral of the story is girls can do anything. Well, technically that's true, except she had to eat bullets. Well, what would your last meal be, Alex? I would probably get ice cream from McDonald's because I'd still be alive since the ice cream machine is never working. Sean, it is now time for your punishment because you didn't eat the octopus from that earlier. Was now, what is your last request before your punishment? For this video to get one million likes. If this video gets one million likes, then I I'm going to blind date with one of you guys. That's what's happening right now. I would what? love for my video yeah. to get one million <laughs> likes. Yeah. You're <laughs> So we came to the end of the video. Hey, slick, cool gang. Tell me your thoughts on this video. Do you want to see more videos like this? Or do you want me to switch it up a little bit every time? Also, I am trying to get into vlogging a little bit. Right now, my phone has too much storage on it. So I'm working on getting me a camera and another laptop. So just be patient with me. I'm trying to get everything right for y'all to give y'all the best quality.
best professional videos out there. But if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. Don't forget to share. Just putting the word out there it gives me more views. Thank each and every last one of y'all. Peace.